as a sort of general football quiz on the channel and obviously we're 30 facts here as a mark so I know all the facts about football so I need to refresh my knowledge so today I'm going to be completing some football trivia quizzes but but they are with a twist and actually you guys can uh, play along with me as well because I found this really really cool website it's actually just called football trivia um, I'll drop a link in the description to it but essentially so you play a quiz and you have 20 questions and you get like three points I think it explains it well here actually I can just I can just read it so start by choosing your preferred quiz from a menu we'll go football stadium quiz 90s football Premier League quiz whichever route you choose you'll be faced with a season of 20 quiz questions across a range of difficulty levels you get three points for getting a question right on your first attempt and one point if you get it correct second time round at the end of your season, you'll be shown your finishing position in the league table. So I thought this was quite cool, quite unique. I was like, let's try it out. And they've got so many, so many like different categories and competitions to try out. So we're going to do some of those today. Um, if you try out any of these quizzes as well, then please do let me know about and they change, I'm pretty sure, every time you play them. So you get a new set of questions for every quiz you complete. So let's see how we do play now. Now there's the random one, which I think we're going to start off with just to test the waters and um, see how we do. This could go horribly because it's probably the hardest one because it's so general, right? Taking on our random football trivia challenge is no me the we respect those who have an all-round knowledge let's see so let's see how i do and you can see the type of questions here they're so so like specific but really interesting questions so arsenal signed four players on the last day of a 2011 transfer window which of these players did not sign on that day Yossi Ben Ayu, Andre Arshavin, Mikel Arteta, or Per Mertesacker. Okay, so due to doing videos, I remember I did a video on like last minute buys and your club's best one. So I know Mikel Arteta and Per Mertesacker were signed, I'm pretty sure, on deadline day. So it's not those, it's between Yossi Ben Ayu and Andre Arshavin. Now, well, one of those who was signed on deadline there are those two. Honestly, I don't know. I'm gonna go Ben IU. Okay. It's gotta be harsh, enough, otherwise, I look like a complete mug. Okay, here we go. There we go. Alright, so we get one point. So, as you can see here, look, points one. Zero wins, zero losses. Let's see how we can do where we can finish. So from which club did Leeds United sign Jimmy Floyd Hasselblank in 1997? Was it Ajax, Anderlecht, Boa Vista or Montpellier? Um, honestly, no idea. Honestly, no idea. Now he's obviously Dutch. Ajax is the obvious answer, but I feel like that's maybe too obvious. I feel like he might have played in Belgium. Mm. I don't really hear people talk about him coming through the Ajax Academy, so I really don't think it's Ajax. These are three or so random clubs. I'm going to Anderlecht. No. Uh, let's just play it safe. Ajax. Yeah, okay. We've been hit on the counter. The United thing is, it doesn't actually tell you what the correct answer is I don't think or maybe at the end it does but that is very annoying I played for Chelsea from 2000 to 2006 Tottenham Hotspur in 2010 Stoke City in 2010 and Fulham in 2011 who am I? is it Solomon Kalou? Jody Morris? Idaka Johnson? or Colton Cole? 
says, and I know this. It's definitely not Simon Kalu. He did not play for Spurs. Colin Cole played for West Ham. So it's not him. It's between these two. And I'm pretty certain I, I had a good chance and I remember him playing for Fulham and Stoke. Yes, there we go. Ida Good Johnson finished his playing career with Mould. So we have our first win of the season there. As you can see, a draw, loss, and a win. So not too bad right now. Let's try to step it up. Ghanaian striker Tony Yabir gained a reputation for scoring stunning goals. What the hell? What was his date of birth? Are you kidding me? Right. Um, he was not born. In 2003, pretty sure he's, he, he was older than that. He was definitely older than that. So it's not this. 55 is a bit too old. Don't think it's that. I'm going to go. This is a very unique one, 666. So I'm sure they put that in there. They wouldn't put in the question if it wasn't something unique. So we go for that. Let's go. Ellen Road Gold Area Bar won the Bundesliga Golden Boot twice with Eintracht Frankfurt. So that's back to back wins now. Question number five. On the way to Champions League Glory in 2021, Chelsea conceded how many goals in their final seven games of the competition? The last 16 of them was right. I should get this right. I should get this right. I am a Chelsea fan. Let me remember. So we did not concede in the final versus Man City. We had Real Madrid. Second leg, we did not concede. I can't remember what the first leg score was, but I'm pretty sure we didn't concede. We did concede a goal, though. The Porto Doremi scored a mad overhead kick. Atletico Madrid. First leg, we beat them 1 0. Second leg. Oh, I, they didn't score. No, they didn't score. We beat them 2 0. See again, Emerson. I think it's one. I think it's one. It's either one or two. It's not twelve or zero. I'm gonna go one. Let's go. Oh, I, wait. Oh, wait. So it's the last sixteen, not Calvin, but the Remy one. Oh God. Okay. Well, then I was wrong. Seen one against Real Madrid in the semi-final first leg. and one one. Winning two nil. But that is three wins on the bounce now for us. So in 2009, why did Gus Hiddink think Chelsea's Champions League semi-final against Barcelona was fixed? Right, guys, I've not said I'm a Chelsea fan, but okay. I know we've had a lot of Chelsea questions, but this is perfect for me. I'm not like cheating or anything. So you believe UEFA will make more money with Barca in the final? He believed that a psychic had a hex on his team. He believed the ref had Barca loyalties. He believed UEFA did not want to repeat from a previous year's final. So this is obviously the disgrace one. It's between these two. Obviously the ref was bad. But this is also true. I'm going to go for this one. Okay, this one. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Winning streak is over, but we're still unbeaten in the last four. So the seventh match in the 2020-21 season. Who has Coventry's top score? In their first season back of a championship. Whoa, this is a random question. Matt Gordon, Amadou Bakioka, Callum O'Hara, and Tyler Walker. Right, it's not Amadou Bakioka, I'm pretty sure. And it's not Callum O'Hara. Again, I'm pretty sure. It's either Tyler Walker or Matt Gordon. Um, I'm gonna go Matt Gordon. No. Okay, Tyler Walker. Yeah, there we go. Scored eight in all competitions. Damn, that's annoying. That was annoying. We could have won that. We could have won that, but we're still on being the last five. Drum two on the bounce here. Question eight. In World Cup 2010 qualifying, what controversy arose in a playoff game between France and Republic of Ireland? Or, or I think I know this from the from Irish guy. Riots broke out in the stands. Henri handled the ball in the lead up to a late goal. The referee found nine minutes of injury time in which France scored. France's winner was clearly offside. Now, from the Irish guy's YouTube channel, I'm pretty sure I remember him talking about this and Henri handling the ball. So I'm pretty certain it's this. It is. Ireland applied to be included in the World Cup as an unprecedented vote for a team, but later withdrew their application. Things are going well. Things are going well right now. Only one loss all 
season, let's try and keep it up. Portsmouth reached the FA Cup final and were relegated from a Premier League in which year? Oh god, okay, it's not 2010 or 2012. I'm pretty sure it was later than that. I, 2006 was too late, though. I'm, I think it was 2008, if not 2010. I'm gonna go 2008. No. Was it really 2010? That seems too early. That seems way, way too early. It might have been 2006. It might have been. I'm gonna go 2010. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Lost to Chelsea in the FA Cup final. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Keep the unbeaten streak up. Into 2019, Zach Emerson became Oldham's youngest league player. How old was he? Wow. I have no idea who this is. Can't like 16 years, 21 days, 14 years, 15 years, 17. Surely they're not playing a 14 year old or a 15 year old. He's probably 16. No. Actually, now that I think about it, it's probably one of these two, otherwise, they wouldn't have put in this question. He's probably really, really young. For years of 360 days, so that's a bit too. That's a bit too much. I'll say 15 years. It was. Today, the teenager was also the second youngest in league history. Alright, another draw, another draw. We need to start getting some wins, though. At least we're not losing. Rahman Martin's disappointed career has seen him play for numerous clubs, including QPR, West Ham, and Cardiff. But which club did he leave to join Derby in August 2021? Was it Atlas, Lazio, AD, Den Haag, or Osterson? Right, I remember him playing for all three of these. I don't really remember him playing for Osterson, but he might have. Lazio was not, was a bit earlier than that, so it's not Lazio. It might have been, I'm pretty sure he was in Europe, so I don't think it was this Atlas there in Mexico, right? I'm gonna, I think it might be one of these, so I'm gonna go Den Haag. It was, there we go. Let's play for all of the other clubs listed here, but last played in Holland before moving to the East Midlands. Back to winning ways. This is good, this is good. In the 1999 European Cup final, who scored United's famous last goal winning goal? Kicks, goal, Shankham Solskjaer. Okay, nice easy one here. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. There we go. Back to back wins. Question 13. Which Chelsea manager preceded Luis Felipe Scolari in the late 2000s? Preceded, so it was before him, right? Mourinho, nope. And from Grant, Claudio Ranieri, I think. Um, pretty sure it's Aaron Grant. Yeah, there we go. Grant has 67% win percentage. Yeah, it's three wins on the bounce. The title could be on, the title could be on here. We're on some good form. Which German goalkeeper had two spells with Arsenal between 2003 and 2011? Jens Lehmann Petschek, Wojciech Szczesny and Dominic Spina. Well, you know, I might have struggled with this, but they made these really easy because he's not German, he's not German, he's not German, he is German, so it's Lehmann. There we go. Four wins in a row. The title is truly on here. Ali Al Habsi had five successful years with Wigan before moving to Brighton and Reading. What national team do you represent? Um, okay, UAE, Iran, Oman, Qatar. Pretty sure it was not Iran or Qatar. It's UAE or Oman. Um, I think it's UAE. Um, actually, oh, I'm gonna go UAE. No, I think it's Oman then. I'm hoping I'm right here. Yes, okay, good, 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 good. Winning streak is over, but the unbeaten streak is not. Only one loss. Four games of the season are remaining. I've played international football for two different countries. I started my club career in Brazil before moving to Europe. I won Premier League titles in 2014-15 and 2016-17. 
I am well known for my fiery temper and who am I? Lewis Wise, Diego Costa, Marilyn Fellini and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now to be honest, I already knew who this was reading this part. I think you have to look at the options. It's definitely Diego Costa. There we go. Play for Brazil and Spain. Alright. During the round of 16 game against Argentina and USA 94, Romania pulled off a shock by winning 3 2. Who scored the winner? Haji, Popescu, Dmitrileski, or Munateno? The only one I know here is Haji. Might be too obvious, but I'm just gonna go for Haji because he's the only one I know. It was, he's got a brace. Oh, Dimitri has scored a brace, and Haji scored a winning goal. That is huge, that is huge, that is 10 wins now. Two matches left for the season, can we stay unbeaten for the rest of the season? Win our last two games, that's the aim here. Then the title could be ours. So in the 2010-11 season, Tom Cleverly spent a year on loan of Wigan from Man United. How many goals did he score for the Landings? What the hell? And I'm like, to know this. 9-14-0-4. I mean, cleverly when I already know for his goals, my first instinct is zero. I don't particularly remember him being some backs, but then getting 14 or 9. So it's either 0 or 4 for me, I'm going to go 0. No. Uh, maybe, maybe using my logic from the other, other questions, maybe it was like 14 or 9. Because otherwise they wouldn't have put that in if it wasn't something sensational. But then again, yeah, I don't I remember this guy scoring tons of goals. I think it's four. Oh, I think I'm going to be wrong here, but I'm going to go four. Yes. Let's go. We got that right. Remain unbeaten. Going into the final. Oh, the second to last question. What is the nickname of Newcastle United? Nice and easy. The man buys the strides for Al Mac, but it's the Dune. I mean, they are the Duna Army, but their nickname is the Magpies. There we go. So, final question of the season. We're on 11 wins, 7 draws, and just 1 loss. We have quite a lot of draws, so we're going to need to win this if we're going to win the league. Where do Blackpool play their home games? The Vetch, Gay Meadow, Bluefield Road, Cherry Road, Red Record Stadium. I don't know what the Vetch is. Firstly, I don't know who calls the stadium Gay Meadow, but that's a bit of a weird name. Although I'm pretty sure this is Shrewsbury Stadium. Um, Bloomfield Road, Jerry Red Record Stadium. It is, I'm 99.9% .9 certain, Bloomfield Road. It was, it was. So, let's see our results of the season. Where did we finish? Where did we finish? Runners up. Runners up. They were in it till the end, but they've come up short when it mattered. It's gonna hurt for a few days, but they can be really proud what they achieved this season. Are you kidding? 43 points we got this season, just for one loss, but the draws killed us. We had seven draws and 12 wins. That's annoying. I think we could have won that league, because there was a lot of those draws where it was like 50-50s, and I went for the wrong option. But that's pretty good, because I thought I was gonna do awful. As that was a random quiz, that's meant to be the hard one, but let's, you know what, let's go for decade, let's go 2010s. I think I have good 2010 knowledge, let's see. So, question one, which team put seven goals past North Korea, but failed to score in their other group games at South Korea 2010? Um, oh god, Brazil, Portugal, I mean, Chile. It wasn't Brazil. I was in Brazil. Portugal, Ivory Coast, Chile. I honestly can't remember. I don't think it was Portugal. It might be Chile. I'm gonna go Chile. Uh, uh, it's between these two. Ivory Coast. No. Oh god. Okay. Question two. It would be fair to say that Bafa Demi Gomez's time at Swansea was challenging. Which club did Swansea loan him to in 2016? Leon Cardiff Centre DM Marseille. 
right, so they bought him from Marseille. He definitely didn't go to Cardiff. Did they give him back to Marseille? I don't think they did. I don't really remember him playing for Lyon. I'm pretty sure it might be sent at the end then. No. It might be Marseille then. He might have gone back to Marseille. He did, okay. Yeah, it's also L eligible to represent Senegal. Right, I played for Jersey from 2006. Oh wait, we got the same question. Oh, no, nice, nice. Take that, take that free win, first win of the season. Which of these clubs did former Arsenal, Chelsea, and Man City striker Nicholas Anelka never play for? Shanghai, Shenhua, Mumbai City, New York Rebels, Fanabat J. Right, definitely played for Shanghai, Shenhua. 90% certainly played for Mumbai City. I remember him going to India. These two. I don't remember him going to the US, so I'm gonna go New York. Yes, okay. 2016 17 at Champs League saw the goal jars dominated by Messi, Ronaldo, Lewandowski, and Cavani. Who won the race with 12 goals? 16 17. Who scored the most? 16 17. I can't even remember who won the Champs League that year. I think it was Raul. So I'm gonna go Ronaldo. Yes, there we go. Messi, 12 goals to 11. Three wins on the bounce. We've recovered from that dodgy start. Which two countries submitted a joint bid to the World Cup in 2010? Oh god, now Algeria, Cyprus, Libya, Tunisia, Egypt, and Morocco. Ivory Coast and Ghana. I, I'm feeling it was Egypt and Morocco for some reason. Feel like it might have been them. I'm gonna go for them. No. Okay, I honestly have no idea. I don't think Libya and Tunisia would have. Algeria and Cyprus, Ivory Coast and Ghana. Mm, yeah, let's go for that. No, no, okay. Damn, that's another loss. Whilst playing for QPR in 2012, Joe Barton received a record ban from football. How many games did he? Right, there's a record ban, it's gotta be high, it's gotta be 12 or 15. I'm gonna go 15. 12. Okay, there we go. Slander and Ibrahimovic once has got himself as what when playing America? A Ferrari among the ass, a caviar amongst crabs, a bruschetta amongst bread, a lion among kittens. Now I remember it was one of these two. He always just comes up with a lion, so I'm guessing it's this. No, it's that then. Okay, yeah. Right, we haven't got a winning three when he has to up here. For Mars, we'll hear it. Aaron Moy represent which country? Australia, England, New Zealand, Singapore was Australia. There we go. In the 2016-17 campaign, which side not less than the Champions League at the quarterfinal stage? Bayern, Atletico, PSG, Porto. It was our flat to go. There we go, back to back wins. Up until the end of 2020, who has been Newcastle's most expensive signing? Amron, Joel Linton, Wilson, Owen. Joel Linton. There we go. Three wins on a bounce. We are steaming through now. We are steaming through. After signing for Nottingham Forest in 2018, which player accused his previous boss, Rafa Benitez, of treating me more like a number than a human being? Andre Costa, Pantamillion, Claudio, Jacob, Jack, Callback. Right. Pantamillion came from Sunderland, Benitez did not manage him. Claudio Jacob played for West Brom, I'm pretty sure, did not manage him. Andre can't remember. Jack Callback was definitely at Newcastle. So I'm gonna go Jack Callback. Yes, there we go. In 2019, Jordan Linden moved to Swindon on a free what nationality is he? American, Welsh, Australian, South African. Don't ask why I know this, but he's Australian. So there we go. Uh, that is five wins in a row now. We are steaming ahead. Which of these fumbling giants has not been sold by Dortmund in their career? Christian Pulisic, Sir Gnabry, Ivan Perisic, feels like Gundogan. Right, Pulisic and Gundogan have Perisic or Gnabry. I'm pretty sure Nabry didn't because he went through Arsenal, Werder Bremen, and then Bayern, right? 
people I did not know that Ivan Perisic was sold by Dortmund. Yeah, Perisic left in 2013 after falling out of favour with Young Club. I didn't realise he played for Dortmund. Wow. Right, six wins in a row. I mean, the league is back on here. We are on a winning streak here. Question 15. Who is the top goal scorer in the 16-17 Premier League season? Costa, Kane, Lukaku, Sanchez. Right, I'm pretty sure this is the league. Chelsea won the league. So it was either Diego Costa or it was maybe Harry Kane. I'm going to go Costa. No. Okay, it's got to be Harry Kane then. Yeah, there we go. Right, unfortunately the winning run is over, but at least we've got a draw there. 16, Nigeria won the 2013 edition of AFCON. Which team did they defeat 1-0 in the final? Lesotho, Mali, Botswana, Bukuno, Faso. I don't think it was Lesotho or Botswana. It was either Mali or Bukuno, Faso. I think it was Mali. I think, I think it was... Mm, actually, hold on. Ooh. I Actually, I think it was... Mm, wait. I know they've never won it. I know they've... Oh, God, this is tough. I'm gonna go Bukuno Faso. Yes, 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 I was right, I was right. Band winning ways. Pierre Cabomia moved to Arsenal in 2018 and is captain of the Gabon national football team. Where was he born? Oh, this is interesting. Namibia, France, Gabon, Germany. I th is either Gabon or France, or it could even be Germany. Because I know his dad, like, played football, so he's probably born when, like, his dad was playing football. His dad played a lot in France, so I'm going to go France. Yes, there we go. Alright, question 18. From which club did Aston Villa sign Amal al in 2018? Leo Besiktas Porto Ajax. Now, I remember him playing for Leo for some reason, but I'm, I don't know if that was after his time. But I do remember him in a Leo shirt for some reason, so my gut feeling is saying Leo. I'm not 100% confident, but I'm just feeling it. And I was right. I was right. That is huge. We are well and truly in a race for this title again. Two more questions. Can we get some two wins from the two? In 2019, West Brom signed Danish international striker Kenneth Zahora from which club? Malmo, Rosenberg, Vivi Venlo or Cardiff City? Now he played for Cardiff. He did play for Cardiff, but I think that was after his time at West Brom. And I distinctly remember him. He was Danish, right? So he played for Malmo, Rosenberg. I'm pretty sure. I think it was Malmo. I'm gonna go Malmo. No. Oh God. Oh God. Maybe it was Cardiff. Did he go to Cardiff straight away? Or did he go to Cardiff after? No. I don't. West Brom wouldn't have signed him because West Brom wouldn't have signed him from Cardiff, right? Because I think West Brom were in the Prem at this time and he didn't do much at Cardiff. So I think it was Rosenberg. No. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's put a dent in our title hopes. That's put a real, real dent in those. Damn. Kenneth Zora. Right, you won the Premier League in 2014-15, Chelsea, City, Arsenal, United. Pretty sure it was Chelsea. Yep. Right, let's see how we did. I think that Zora one has messed us up. I think we might be runners up again. Yep. Oh my god. 43 points. I swear that's the same points we got last time. Oh man, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. Right, we're going to go again. We, we're going to try and win the league this time. Let's go 2020s. Pretty, pretty reason. So I should know this. Right, what in relation to Wigan did Shadow Foreign Secretary Lisa Nandy describes a global scandal in July 2020? What? Wigan being had a worldwide transfer, Wigan being placed in administration, Wigan players avoiding drug deaths, Wigan being accused of throwing a game. Right, I don't know any of this, but I know Wigan have financial problems, so I'm going to go for this. Yes, there we go. Right, start season off with a win. Let's try to go invincible. The North and Central American World Cup qualifiers for World Cup 2020. So Carl Larin finish as top goal scorer. What country does he play for? Canada, USA, Panama, Honduras, Canada. Two from two. Newcastle manager Steve Bruce was sacked by Newcastle in October 2021 after reaching which milestone? 
is 250th win in management is 50th birthday 1000th club games as manager he finished spring cleaning his kitchen oh my god um, but it's definitely not that I don't think he got sacked on a win so it's not that this is 50th birthday of that I think this is a milestone I'm gonna go this yes free win from free come on but we mean business we mean business this year for the title Right, 2021, 20, 22 season, so United qualify for which European trophy for the following season? <laughs> Europa Cup and Mickey Mouse Cup, Champions League, Conference League, right, hold on. So last season, they were competing in the Europa League, so it means that, yeah, so they qualified for Europa Cup. Europa Cup. For June 2023, transfer window saw Galadu Kulabali leave Chelsea to play in which country? China, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, USA, it is Saudi. Nice. Six, that's five wins from five now. We are on fire. On the 2nd of July 2021, Coventry put up Martin Wagon on a free transfer after he left which club on a free? Huddersfield, Preston, Nottingham Forest, Derby. Now, he definitely played for Nottingham Forest. He definitely played for Derby. That was the last club I remember him at. So I... I'm gonna go Derby. Yes, uh, and that's six from six. The 22 World Cup final is to be played where? Soccer City Stadium for Maracana, Lusinski Stadium, Lucille Stadium. Well, right. Um, I think it was Lucille Stadium. I think it was, I'm not very, I can't really remember the stadium names at Qatar. But it was, it was. Who is the life president? Athletic. Oh god, oh god. We're seven for seven, but this might this might be our first drop points. Dave Whelan, Abdulaman, Al Jasimi, Michael McGurkin, Joy Royal. Right, I know Dave Whelan. I've heard of that name. The life president. I know Joe Royal as well, I'm pretty sure he was an ex player. But he's the one that comes to my mind, I'm going for him. Oh my god, yes, yes, I knew I heard of him before, let's go, that's 8 from 8, where was the 2023 Alcon tournament held, Ivory Coast, Gabon, Egypt, South Africa, it was Ivory Coast, 9 from 9, Sergio, Sergio Romero spent a miserable 6 years at Man United, making only 7 appearances between the sticks, which club did he move to in 2021? Brescia, Barma, Sassuolo, Venezia. I thought he went to Boca Juniors, but it seemed like he went Serie A first. Oh god, okay, okay, right. Um, don't think it was Sassuolo, I don't remember him being there. Barma, mm, Brescia, Venezia, Barma, again, I don't remember him being there. Wait, and Oh, honestly, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm gonna go Palmer. No. Maybe it was that's what I look. No. Mm, God. Oh, God. Invincible status is in jeopardy here. I'm gonna go for a wild part. I'm gonna go Venezia. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Somehow we pulled that out the bag. We have pulled that out the bag. And we are still unbeaten. 25 AFCON competition hosting rights were awarded to which nation? Oh god. Angola, Libya, Morocco, DR Congo. Again, no idea. Absolutely no idea. Don't think it'll be Morocco because they have like the World Cup coming to them. Uh, don't they? It'll be Libya, Angola, DR Congo. Libya, probably a bit too small of a country to host it. So it's Angola or Congo for me. Gonna go Congo. Please be Angola. No. Invincible status is gone. Right, we need to pick ourselves up. Let's get back to winning ways here, boys. In 2020, former Bangor City forward Burley Labala signed for Blackpool. What national team does he represent? South Africa, Egypt, Congo, Mali. Right. Now, I'm pretty sure it's Congo. And the only reason I know this is because I remember I had a Blackpool FM save. And I had it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, in August 2021, Troy Dean left Watford after playing the excess of 400 games on loan. How many goals did he score for the club, right? 140. 
is a bit too low. One boy is a bit too low. 400 games. He was a bit of a batsman. Two ten is a little bit excessive. I don't think I was averaging one every two games. So I'm going to go 175. No. One, 190. No. Oh, I think it was 140. Damn. Damn. We're, we're collapsing here. Come on, boys. Let's, let's get back on, back on track here. In the 2019-20 season, who was Blackburn's top scorer? Bradley Dack, Danny Graham, Alan Shearer, Adam Armstrong. It's not Alan Shearer, it's not Danny Graham. It's either Bradley Dack, Adam Armstrong. Did Adam Armstrong go to Southampton by this point? I don't think he did, so I'll go for them. There we go. Right, we needed that. At Qatar 2022, what's the name of the stadium made incorporating shipping containers? Greta's Dream Stadium. Stadium, Stadium 974, Maresk Stadium, right? None of these sound like real stadiums, so I'm just gonna go for this one. No. No. Oh god. I don't remember any of these being here. It's not a greatest dream, surely. It might be Project Green. Stadium 974. I don't remember, I don't remember any of these at Qatar 22, but I'll go for this. No. It's not good. It's not not good. We need we need to try and win our last games here. All of our last games, right? But Qatar 2022 mascot was unveiled on the first of April 2022. His name is Lyeb, but what does that mean in English? Disney football, ball man, golf warrior, super skill player. <laughs> I don't think it's ball man or super skill player. It might be Disney football, golf warrior. I'm going to go Disney football. Golf Warrior. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. This is so poor. This is so poor. Who scored his first goal for England in his 62nd game against Ukraine at Euro 2020? No, we'll go Luke Shaw, Jordan Anderson, Stones. I remember Carl Walker scoring his first goal. I'm pretty sure it was against Ukraine, but it was in. World Cup qualifying, not at the Euros. Luke Shaw. Well, he scored it against Italy. He might have scored before. John Lenders has scored for his stones or Shaw. I feel like Shaw scored before, so I'm going. Wait, no. I'm going Shaw. No, Stones. Oh my. <laughs> We're finished. We are. Right, in their championship winning 2019-20 season, how many league goals did Leeds forward Bam score 11, 16, 9, 23? He bad a lot. He bad a lot. I'm going 23. No, but yeah, okay, there we go. At least we got a draw. Right, no wins are our last four. We're, we're playing the bride here. The 2020-21 Champs League was unusual in that one player saw two red cards. Who was he? Um... Trees go Fred Balan. Um, honestly, no idea. Honestly, no idea. PSG are known for a bit of head, head loss, so okay, there we go. Back to winning ways here. Right, last question. Let's end the season on a high. In the 2019 20 championship season, Brentford's attack line was known by what acronym? HMV, BMW, BRB, Ruffle. Right, so they definitely. So we had Embuemo. Embuemo was in there. Uh, Brian Embuemo. Ivan Tony. Mm. Oh wait, no. This with Watkins, right? It, I'm pretty sure. So it's BMW. Or I think it's BMW. Yeah. Yeah, Ben Rama. Ben Rama's here. Oh, ben Rama, Embuemo, Watkins. Right, let's see where we finish mid-table. I, I, we, we did Arsenal, boys. We did Arsenal. We completely bought that league. We started off with like nine wins from nine. And then we completely collapsed. We did an Arsenal there. But, you know, we'll call it there. We'll call it there. I mean, besides this one, we, we held our heads up high in the other two. Um, as I said before, definitely try out this if you guys want to. And let me know what you guys... Got 
in terms of if you won the league, did you do better than me? Let me know. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video.